While adventuring through the 10th world, you've probably noticed this little icon from time to time. Nice, I'm rested. That's probably a good thing, right? But you might not have realised just how tremendous this rested effect is. So good, in fact, that you should aim to have it active certainly while doing any kind of exploring or combat in the game. This is because the rested effect gives you three really great buffs. Increasing your health regeneration by 50%, stamina regeneration by 100%, and increasing the rate at which you gain experience points by 50%. Very important for grinding your skill levels. To get the rested effect and these great buffs, you must have the resting effect, either for 20 uninterrupted seconds or as you sleep in a bed. In order for the resting effect to be applied, there must be no enemies nearby and you must be near a heat source, close enough to activate the fire effect. Be aware that you will also not get the resting effect if you are wet or burning, because that doesn't look very relaxing. There are several heat sources in the game that will activate the fire effect when you are within range of them. The hot tub, smelter, charcoal kiln, blast furnace, standing brazier, hanging brazier, campfire, stone oven, hearth, and finally the bonfire, which extends the fire effect furthest of all. Sitting outside within range of either of these heat sources will give you the resting effect, as indicated by the icon in the top right corner. Note that in order to rest outside, you must be sat down. While resting, you'll get a 200% health regeneration buff and 300% stamina regeneration buff. So if you're ever in a sticky situation and need to heal up or recharge stamina fast, try building a fire or resting at an in-world fire source. You'll notice under the resting icon that there is a comfort score. This comfort score is calculated based on your surroundings as you rest. Your resting comfort does not affect how strong your rested buffs will be, but instead, how long they will last. The base buff duration is 7 minutes, with every additional comfort level prolonging your rested effect buffs by an extra minute. Adding 7 to your resting comfort level will tell you how many minutes your rested buffs will last. So for example, resting in an area with a comfort level of 6 will give you 13 minutes of rested buffs. Resting outside by a lit fire will give you a comfort level of 1 and make your rested effect buffs last for 8 minutes. But you can actually boost the duration of this buff to 27 minutes and beyond by increasing your resting comfort. To increase your comfort past level 1, you not only need to be near a heat source, but you also need to be resting under a shelter. This shelter doesn't have to be anything substantial, or even something you've built. You just have to make sure that you're out of the wind and rain. When you're under an eligible shelter, you'll get the shelter effect icon in the top right corner. Unlike when resting outside, you don't have to be set down when you rest inside your shelter. In itself, resting with the shelter effect will only give you one extra comfort point. But crucially, it will enable you to gain additional comfort points from surrounding items, including the type of heat source you're using to get the fire effect. Only specific items will contribute towards your comfort level and some will contribute more than others. These items don't need to be in the shelter with you to add to your comfort level, but they do need to be within a 10 meter radius of you while you're resting. In most cases, items within the same general group won't stack their comfort scores, so only the item with the highest comfort level will apply. Multiples of an item also won't stack comfort, so it's important to have a good variety of furniture within your base. This 10 meter radius extends in all directions, so items on multiple levels of your base will also count towards your comfort. However, when placing the larger qualifying items, it's important to keep in mind that the 10 meter radius will have to reach the centre of the item to be included in your comfort score. Before I run through all of the craftable items that can contribute to your comfort level, I have to talk about the only in-world comfort booster. No, it's not your good doggos, but the maypole. Recent updates have cut spawn rates for the maypole, with this rare item only spawning in about half of world seeds now. If your world seed is one of the lucky ones, a maypole will spawn in an abandoned village in the meadows, normally within 1500 metres of the centre of the map. The maypole won't respawn and can't be moved, so don't go chopping it down. If this item is within a 10 metre radius of you when you're resting in a shelter, it will add an additional level to your comfort and therefore give you an extra minute of rested buffs. If you want to create your base around this item, go for it. 
but in my opinion, the extra minute is not worth it if it means your base will be in a less ideal location, far from resources or the ocean. So how can you maximise your comfort from buildable items? Well, depending on where you are in the game, you may be limited to what you can build, but this guide will run you through the items that you should eventually look to add to your base if you want to maximise comfort. Of the heat sources in the game, resting near the campfire, bonfire, hanging brazier and standing brazier will add one level to your comfort, but building and resting near the larger hearth or hot tub will add two comfort points. The hot tub is unique compared to these other heat sources, in that its plus two comfort will also actually stack with the comfort scores of any of the other heat sources. So for example, having both the hot tub and hearth in your shelter will give you an additional four comfort points. The hot tub does however still have to be hot to count towards your comfort level, so make sure it has fuel to get those extra minutes of buffs. It's also worth noting that the hot tub is the only place you can get the rested effect while being wet, so feel free to rest in or out of it. The four rugs currently in the game will each add one level to your comfort, so it's well worth having a deer rug, wolf rug, lox rug and the new red duke carpet where you rest to get an easy four extra minutes of rested buff. Having a banner of any colour will also add one comfort point, but note that these items do not stack, unlike the carpets. So while you can obviously have as many banners as you desire decorating your halls, only one will count towards your comfort level. Next you need somewhere to sit. Like with the banners, these items don't stack comfort level, so only the seat with the highest comfort points will contribute to your comfort level. The stool, bench or sitting log will add one point to your comfort level, while the chair or dark chair will add two comfort points. Building either the raven throne or the stone throne will beat all of these by adding three comfort levels. You'll also have to choose between the tables in the game, with the regular table adding one comfort point and the late game darkwood varieties, the round table and long heavy table providing two comfort points. As we've already mentioned, you can get the rested effect by sleeping in a bed. But even just having a bed in your vicinity will increase your comfort as you rest. Early on, you'll only have access to the basic wooden bed, which will give you one extra comfort point. But once you've mined some iron and ventured into the mountains, you'll be able to upgrade to the dragon bed, which will give you two comfort points. The armor stand is a mid-game item that will contribute one point to your comfort even if it doesn't have any armour hung on it. Having all of these items within 10 metres of you as you rest will give you a comfort level of 20 and 27 minutes of rested buff. But as I mentioned earlier, it's possible to even go beyond that, with seasonal items. We've already talked about the Maypole, which Iron Gate made temporarily buildable to celebrate Midsummer last year. But last December, the devs temporarily added another seasonal item, which also increases comfort by one point the Yule Tree. Make sure you keep an eye out for these seasonal items, as although they are only temporarily buildable, once you have them, they will continue to boost your comfort level long after they've been removed from the game. Now you've maximised your surrounding comfort as much as possible, you can kick back and rest in your shelter. After 20 seconds with the resting effect, you'll get a message saying you're rested, with your comfort level in parentheses. This level will be based on your comfort the moment that the rested effects became active, even if you spent most of the 20 seconds in an area with higher comfort. Under the effects icon in the top right corner, you'll notice a countdown. This shows you how long you have remaining of your buffs. The countdown will start when you move into an area of lower comfort, or if you lose the resting effect altogether. If you haven't left your shelter and lost the resting effect, moving to an area of your shelter with a higher comfort level will cause your countdown to immediately increase, as if you had originally rested there. If you have left your shelter or lost the resting effect since getting your buffs, you will have to rest again for 20 uninterrupted seconds, or go to sleep, to overwrite and restart this countdown partway through. It doesn't matter what the comfort level is where you re-rest, but obviously the countdown will only be overwritten if your remaining countdown is lower than the new buff duration would be. Once the countdown has run out, you'll get a message saying that you no longer feel rested, but of course you can immediately rest again to get the rested effect and your buffs back. Note that you'll also lose your rested buff if you log out of the game. Iron Gate has recently introduced pausing to the single player game, 
so make sure to use that feature if you want to safely go AFK without losing your rested effect buffs. And that's probably everything you need to know about comfort and the rested effect in Valheim. I'll make sure to create an update if Iron Gate brings in any big changes. Please leave a like or comment if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more Valheim videos and guides like this in the future. Until then, have a great day.